Okay, evidently, this is where all the hellions hang out, okay, and evidently, these little monkey bars don't appease them because they make messes everywhere. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a hold of their children, okay? Just Hey guys, what's up? It's Carissa here, aka Sweet Plum Bob, and welcome back to my channel where I am going to be introducing you to my current household. So, obviously, we all know what current households are. This is the household that I'm playing in my spare time, which, honestly, <laughs> since I've been uploading and recording for YouTube, I don't get a lot of spare time where I get to play, but when I'm finally caught up and I have some downtime, I like to play because. It just, I just like to play, okay, and lose track of time playing, okay? So, yeah, here I am with the Faust family. Um, well, my camera skills, we know, suck. Anyways, this is, I uh, forgot her name, oh God, <laughs> Rebecca Faust. Um, she's a single mother, and she's cooking pancakes right now, but let me show you their house. This is the house I live in. I built this house. <laughs> um, so, promo for myself right here. It is on the gallery, I believe. I will check. If not, I will upload it after I get done editing and everything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already on the gallery. I love this house. I think it turned out so cute. I wanted a small little house. Um, oh my gosh, it's so precious. I love it so much. Let me just go ahead and give you a little tour real quick. And then introduce you to her daughter, Faith. So, when you walk in, here is the little dining and kitchen area. So, it's pretty small. But that's why it's so quaint and cute. And this is the living room. She is actually, um, she doesn't have a job. She is a painter. She's very artistic. So, she wanted to be able to raise Faith, you know, as she is a toddler. And she wanted to stay home and be a stay-at-home mom. But she needed to make some money. So, she paints and sells her paintings and stuff. So... Um, hold on, let me turn the lights on so you guys can see. Turn on all lights. Okay, so this is her bedroom. And this is her bathroom, and it has, like, the laundry. You know, how to, how to make room where I could see fit. So we have the laundry room stuffed here in this bathroom, and we have a clothesline out here and a little slide. Then upstairs, we have the little hallway with a computer desk. And this is Faith's bedroom, and this is her bathroom. So yeah, um, I just kind of created <laughs> Rebecca, and I decided I wanted to play, um, I can't talk, play with a single mom, and just kind of see where it goes. I really just wanted to play in this house that I had built. I thought it was so cute, and I had it furnished for a single mom, and um, a daughter, so I just created a family to put in there, and I just, I really like them, but like I said, um, sorry, I got a text, and it kind of distracted me, but anyways, um, yeah, I don't even know what I was saying, okay, get it together, geez, I need to put my phone up when I start recording, because I'm not even kidding you guys, I'm not popular at all, it's just every time I record, somebody calls me or somebody texts me, I don't know what it is, but anyways, Faith is obviously a little toddler. She is so cute. She is, um, whoa, do I have my life on long? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, hold up. No, six. Okay, that is her. I was like, whoa. Okay, she has six days until she is going to age up. And she is, like, very hungry. So, she's making pancakes. And then we're going to have her feed her. Okay, because I don't want her getting taken away. So... We'll grab a serving for her and put it, well, we're just going to put her here because oh, I really hate putting my toddlers in the high chair, which is why you'll notice in the Torres family household in their new house when I was furnishing it, furnishing it, I cannot talk today, oh my god, when I was furnishing it for the toddlers, oh, I've seen that girl, <laughs> um, I did not put high chairs in there because I'm just not fighting with the toddlers. I feel like every time I put my toddler in the high chair, I'm like, okay, hold on a second, I'm going to get the food, and then they want out, and then my sim just forgets everything they was doing, like, oh, I'm going to get you food. No, they go and get her out anyways. Well, Faith could not wait, so here she comes. Okay, well, she can't wait either because she's got to eat, but okay, no, you're going to eat last. We got to make sure our kid's taken care of, okay? Don't be selfish, and what? 
Oh, okay. We got some freaking Houdini pancakes over here. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there's really not much to them. I haven't played them at all, really. I just started playing, but I did want to introduce you to them and give you some updates every now and then. But, ooh, here. Why don't we just go ahead and give that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. And then Faith. Go ahead and bon appetit, baby. Okay. And then we'll have her just come grab her another plate. Oh, duh. And then their Pomeranian, Mimi. Oh, my God. She's so cute. Hold on. Where's she at? Mimi. Come here, puppy. <laughs> she's so cute. That's her little pupper. But, yeah. Um, basically, like I said, not much to them. Um, she is a loner. She is creative. And she loves the outdoors. And she's domestic. And Faith is angelic. Mm hmm and their relationships I don't think they have she doesn't have very many like I said I really I've had them you know in my game where I've been wanting to play them for a while but I've been so busy recording that I haven't had time but anyways she's friends with her neighbor Mariana Palmer I'm playing in little Cincy save file so her neighbor is Mariana and her little toddler so she's pretty good friends I guess you would say with Mariana and then she met Manuel Roland, which is like the nanny of that rich family. I forgot what their names are. He's like having an affair with the mom. So I do not like him for her just because of that fact that he's having an affair with a married woman who he's living with, babysitting her kids. But they did meet and he did ask her to, what, don't, what did, did he ask her to the romance festival? Hold on, I think we took a picture when I played. I'm trying to remember, maybe this will tell me where they were. Well, hold on. I don't know if it'll be able to tell me. <laughs> like, if I'll be able to see from the background where they were at. Was it the Romance Festival? Yeah. Or the Spice Festival? Maybe it was the Spice Festival. Anyways, he invited her out, so she went. I think it was the Spice Festival. And they had a pretty good time, but yeah, I'm not feeling it for her. <laughs> I just don't think he is good for her. She needs her a, a man, you know, a family man, and... The fact that he is having an affair is not okay. But yeah, this is my little current household, guys. We're just going to play a few minutes in their life. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Um, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was thinking about... Here's the reason. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this is why I wanted to play with them and start like really playing with them and I really wanted to get into Faith's life and like have her age up soon because obviously I'm already considering in my Torres legacy who I want to be the next heir and I'm leaning towards Palmer just because he's the firstborn and I love him I'm already like attached to him even though he's a hellion <laughs> but you know okay I'm thinking okay well who's this future girl gonna be you know and you know, I, I could pretend that I don't, like, play Sims in the game that I want my Sims to, like, have a crush on. I don't really force things because sometimes Sims just, like, their personalities clash and things don't work out. But if all goes well with this little family, I'm thinking of putting them in my Torres Legacy file and, you know, just seeing what Sim Fate does with Faith and Palmer. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm thinking about it because... Okay, with Gemma, I was very attached to Gemma, even though I wasn't playing Gemma. She was just in the file, and I met her, and I put her there, and I just thought she was so cute, and she became friends with, like, the family, and I just was attached to her, and I want to be attached to all of my heirs, significant others, in some way, shape, or form. Like, I want to be able to say I played their life. So, yeah, that's, that's where I'm going with this. So, I think she is, like, wanting out, like, ASAP. Oh, we need to potty train her. Hurry before she titties on herself. Um, Rebecca. Go, go potty train her. <laughs> you looking crazy, girl. Okay, but yeah. So, that is what I'm thinking. Um, but then again, I also am not 100% sure that I am going to have Palmer be the heir. Because, like I said... It's still so early on. <laughs> They're just kids. But it is something that I'm considering. I, I gotta consider it. So, yeah. Either way. Maybe, maybe... Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we're just we're just gonna play with them. And I need to fix that. Because that is gonna bother me. You guys, if you have ever downloaded any of my 
stuff from the gallery. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's the right wallpaper, is it? Yes. If you've downloaded any of my stuff from the gallery, you will notice that somehow, some way, never fails, I always miss a wallpaper somewhere. So there's that. No. Potty help. There must not be enough room for her, so she's like, oh no, I can't help you. But actually, you can. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, this is so much easier with two sims, like one toddler. Like, I I really need to be recording the next part of the Torres Legacy, but I honestly, you guys, I am scared to death to go into that save file and play with three toddlers oh, and a child. Once again, props to everybody that does the 100 baby challenge because I have no idea how y'all do it. Eileen Parnell, I think that's the nanny. Hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for breakfast? No, I've already ate, but thanks. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come fill this bowl. We're going to put these in the fridge. We're going to... Woo! There we go. Okay, you don't have to stand there with her. She's got it. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it. Y'all, when I was little and I was potty training, like, my mom has some embarrassing pictures of me being potty trained, like... I had a little toilet like this, obviously, and there's pictures of me, like, sitting in the living room, like, reading my books, <laughs> doing my business, and then there's pictures of me on the toilet, you know, the little attachable thing on the toilet for the kids, and they would always bring me books or puzzles to do. Oh, my gosh, so embarrassing, but that's funny. That's what I think about every time I potty train a toddler in The Sims. <laughs> my experience. Okay. What is she doing? Go into play. I didn't know they could even play in bookshelves. What? That's news to me. Okay. Yeah, and there's not much going on here. Like I said, she doesn't have a job. She really just paints, cleans up around the house, and, you know, is trying to raise her daughter. And what happened with their dad is, okay, she was actually in college, right? So she was in college, and she started dating, you know, Faith's dad, and it wasn't really anything serious. I wouldn't even really say they were dating. They just was kind of, you know, hanging out or whatever. Well, anyways, they ended up hooking up, and um, she got pregnant, and he made it clear that he did not want any, gosh, <laughs> that he did not want anything to do with the baby, um, because his parents are, like, very well off, and he was, like, going to med school, and she um, didn't really come from a lot of money, which I'm proud of her. She's done so well we're in this little house here and you know the fact that she has that much money which is only 2900 in the bank and she is able to paint and stay home with her daughter is amazing but he didn't want anything to do with the child um you know he said i will help with expenses or whatever but you know my parents are going to be very upset with me and this is like my future at stake here i can't have a baby right now and she refused any and all help and said you know what i don't need your pity and i don't need your help i can do it by myself you know if that's the way you want to be then faith is better off just not knowing who you are um so i don't know he might come into the picture eventually you know he might decide that you know, he, he really does want to know his daughter. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. But yeah, I really, really like this family and their little story. And I'm excited to see where it goes. And like I said, I don't know if I will put them in the Torres Legacy. Because this is my current household. But, you know, if I get attached to Faith, I'm, I might just have to put her in there to see what happens with her and Palmer. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Okay. Okay, so she's just like literally all she has to clean up. And I guess oh, she has to give the dog a bath next. I hate it when the dogs get in the puddles and get dirty. It's so annoying. She's a little songbird, which is cute because I've never, you know, played with that little trait for the dogs. But it was the trait that came with the Pomeranian or like not a vocal, not songbird. And you can request a song and it's cute. She has a little song. Okay, so she's going to give her a bath. Today's mail has been delivered. Oh, shoot. 
oh god okay well you know what that's not good i was like no the bills aren't gonna be that much for this little house you telling me the bills are 1500 that's how much it is jeez okay well now we know how much bills are so we know how much we've really got to be painting and doing more than what we're doing because these 117 dollar painting girl no these are not gonna work you've got to do better <laughs> you gotta do better and i think her painting skill is actually pretty good what is it like a where's that it it's almost a seven you should be painting more like more expensive stuff right really okay well that's fine as long as you're not being a hellion so she really is angelic Oh, guys, that'd be so cute. You know how Palmer, he was so bad? Okay, Carissa, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. Like, stop spoiling it for the series. I hate doing that. I want it to be, like, spontaneous, but I'm not even gonna lie. I do plan stuff in my head. And what the crap has gone on out here? Okay, evidently, this is where all the Hellions hang out. Okay, and evidently, these little monkey bars don't appease them because they make messes everywhere. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a hold of their children, okay? Jeez. Alright, so, yeah, guys. I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. Like I said, there was not very much to this part. I just wanted to introduce you to the family. And I will update you, of course, um, as, you know, time progresses. Because this is a current household, so it will not be uploaded regularly. Regularly. -ly. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, okay, let me know if you think that Faith, you know, should I put them in the save file for the Torres Legacy? Should I not? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.